I'd really like to come back and revisit the play command because it turns out there's a little bit more that we need to know before we can use it fully and effectively. Because when I write play 60 and run that program, I do get a very nice note of middle C, which is excellent. But it turns out there's some other stuff that I can add to this command to have maybe a little bit more control over what that note sounds like and how it's going to be played. After our play command, we can add some more information that is going to give the synthesizer a much better idea as to what we want our note to ultimately sound like. And these extra bits of information are known as parameters and are really, really powerful. And the way that we add this information after our play 60 statement is to write a comma and then just list them with a comma in between each of the different parameters that we want to add. And I'm going to teach you about two in this video. The first is the amp parameter. Now the amp parameter, just like amplifier or amplification, is talking all about how loud or soft our sound is going to be. When our command just said play 60, the synthesizer was using the default amp value of 1. Now 1 here is a kind of comfortable, normal level. It's not actually maximum volume, you can go louder than 1, but it's a kind of comfortable, nice, pleasant volume to play sounds at. Now if we were to change the amp value that we're sending to our synthesizer, it means that we can have notes sounding at different volumes. So if I was to change one here to 0.5, you'll hear something that was a bit quieter. And if I change it to 0.1, you'll almost not be able to hear it. For the rest of this lesson, I'm going to set our amp parameter to a comfortable three quarters of the way up 0.75. The other parameter I want to show you here is the pan parameter. Now anyone who knows anything about stereo mixing will know that a really important part of that process is working out where on the left right x axis we're going to place sounds and the same is true here. We can ask our synthesizer to play sounds that are over to the left over to the right or somewhere in the middle. Now if you're listening to this on a mono device that's very unfortunate for this lesson. I hope you might be listening to it on a pair of headphones or on a laptop that has a left and right speaker or any kind of audio system where there are two speakers because that's where pan really comes into its own. The default pan value is zero which means that the sound is coming out equally from the left and the right speakers in your stereo image. If we change that to being pan of one, that means that we're asking the sound to come completely out of the right hand side. So if you're listening on headphones, you'll only hear this sound now in your right headphone. And equally, I can change this so that it's a pan of minus one, which is the opposite. It's saying we want the sound to come out only from the left speaker. And so again, if you're listening on headphones, expect to hear this note all the way over on the left. Those are the only two synth parameters that I want to show you in this video, parameters that we can use with the play command. There are loads more and I'll get to those in a future video, but there is one really cool parameter that we can use with the sample command, which is pretty mind blowing. Now the sample command, as I said, is all about playing back pre-recorded bits of audio. So if I pick my loop Amen sample, we can have a quick listen to that. A parameter that we can use with our audio samples is the rate parameter. This is really cool because this is the rate at which our sample is being played back. The default rate for any sample playback is 1, which means that it's playing back at the kind of normal speed that we would expect it to. We can make this faster or slower by increasing or decreasing our rate parameter. So say I wanted my arm and break to play twice as fast, all I'd need to do is change my rate to 2 and it's twice as fast. Say I wanted it to be half speed, I can change it to 0.5 and it's much much slower. And so I can actually change it to any value that I want and that will affect the speed of playback of my loop. What do you reckon might happen if I change my rate to minus one? This kind of blows people's minds when I show them this. And so when we change our rate to minus one, it's actually saying that we want to play our sample backwards. So that's our arm and break, but plays backwards. I think that's incredibly cool. And so have a play, go and see what you can do with samples and play command parameters. And I'll see you in the next video.